In this video, we'll demonstrate some basic steps for setting up and maintaining printer profiles. These profiles are not only available when printing through gateway printers, they are also available on the VPAD when using SecurePrint. To start, we'll create a profile, delete a profile, and then edit an existing profile. We'll then create a default profile that will automatically be applied when a specific profile is not selected by the user. And finally, we'll show you how to select and apply a specific profile to your print job within a user session. Printer profiles are stored on the print server, so let's go to the print server. Under Tools and Utilities, click Printer Profiles. HP Universal Printing is in bold, which indicates that printer profiles already exist for this printer driver. So let's expand it. Let's create a new profile for the HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. Click to select HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. There are already two profiles created under this printer. Click New to create another profile. Enter a name for the new profile and add a description. Click the Settings tab. Since not all printers are capable of stapling, ensure that Use for this printer only is selected. To allow user settings to override the settings set in this profile, select Overrides. Since we want to enforce double-sided printing, clear double-sided printing. Even if the user chooses to print single-sided in their application, if this profile is applied to their print job, the print job will come out double-sided. Now let's set printer properties. Click Properties. The native print driver is launched. Click the Finishing tab. Select Print on both sides. Click the Output tab. Under Output Options, from the Staple list, select one staple angled, max 15 sheets, and then click OK. Click OK again to complete the printer profile. Here's the new profile. Click Save. We've discovered that no one uses the double-sided tablet printing profile, so let's delete it. Click to select double-sided tablet printing, and then click Delete. Click Yes to confirm that you want to delete this profile. Click Save. Let's edit double-sided plus stapled. Click to select double-sided plus stapled, and then click Properties. Change the plus sign to an ampersand. Click OK. Click Save again. Now let's create a default profile. Default profiles cannot be selected by the user and are automatically applied to a print job when a user selects a specific printer, in this case the HP LaserJet M4345 MFP, but does not select a print profile before clicking Print. Click New. Enter a name for the new default profile. And also enter a description. Click the Settings tab. Select Set this as the default profile. To allow the user to override certain properties, select Overrides. However, we don't want users to be able to override resolution and double-sided printing. Clear Resolution. And also clear double-sided printing. Click Properties. Click the Paper Slash Quality tab. In this driver, you can select Econo Mode to conserve printer ink or simply lower the resolution. Click the Finishing tab. Select Print on both sides. Click OK. Click OK again to complete the profile. The green check mark in the icon indicates that this is a default profile. Click Save. Now let's open up a session and demonstrate how to apply one of these profiles. Go to a workstation. Double click Remote Desktop Connection. Enter the IP address of the application server and then click Connect. Open a document to print. To print, click the File tab. Click Print. Select a printer that has profiles, which in this situation is the HP LaserJet M4345 MFP. Click Printer Properties. As you can see, the paper size is set to legal, which was done in our last video. And if we check font embedding, it should also be set to full. Click the Advanced tab. And indeed, font embedding has been set to full. As you can see, if the user wanted their document to be stapled, that property isn't available on either the General or Advanced tab. To use the stapling feature, they would have to apply a profile. 
To access printer profiles, click the Print Handling tab. At this point, if we don't select a profile, Lorem Ipsum will print out using the property set in the default profile that we called EcoPrint. However, we want to use the stapling feature on this printer. So click to select double-sided and stapled. And then click OK. Click Print. Lorem Ipsum will print out on the HP LaserJet M4345, double-sided and stapled in the upper left corner. If you have users who commonly print out their documents using the same set of properties over and over again, setting up printer profiles is a great way to streamline their printing process and improve their productivity. It's also a great way to give them access to more advanced printer properties such as stapling and hole punching. Thank you for watching this video. Check out our other videos on PrintPal, which is a script-free way to assign printers to user sessions, SecurePrint, which is our secure pull printing solution, and on the VPad, which is our user authentication device, and on archiving and statistics, which allows you to save all of your print jobs to a network repository and monitor print job statistics. For client-server implementations, we also recommend reviewing videos pertaining to the Uniprint client.